Good day guys, back again. Today we have got a 2008 Suzuki Grand Vitara 2.7 litre petrol engine. It's coming for a dead misfire on cylinder number one. Um, so this is a relatively new customer who they were looking for some help on Facebook and I saw and said I'd have a quick look. They've had two mechanics out. It's had six spark plugs, it's had one new ignition coil, um, swapping coils around, still no difference. Um, and they were just guessing at what it may be. Uh, so I said, bring it down, let's have a look and we'll find out exactly what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do, like we do with every dead misfire, is a relative compression test. So I'll set that up and I'll get you over there. Okay, here we are with the Ditex Carscope Eye Tester. Those of you that have seen my videos before know that I love this thing for a quick, easy relative compression test. So let's just go to compression, we'll set it up. Voltage, unsynced, we'll worry about it later, it's six cylinders, so set that up, let's go start, I'll go crank over there for a few seconds, probably about eight seconds or so, and then we'll go check it out. Go see the results. All pretty good there. So I dare say we don't have a compression problem. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get the GTC 505 and we're gonna go over all the coils and see what our spark looks like. From there, we'll make a decision on what to do. Okay, so we are hooked up and running. Let's wave the GTC 505 around. A little bit of static there, but shouldn't look at this. See that? See that? Go to the next one. Looks okay. Go to the next one. Looks okay. Let's go to the back one. Looks okay. Looks okay. Number one, the culprit. We have got absolute randomness here. Something funky is going on on this one. All right, so we know that. Let's go turn the key off, get the scope out, back probe these wires and see what we're getting. Our wiring diagram here. This is our ignition coil number one. And what we're looking for is our ground, black orange, our feed, power feed, black white, and our five volt signal from the PCM is the brown wire. That's what we're looking at. So let's find that. We'll go out there, we'll get the scope, we'll plug into all three of these, and then we will find out what's going on. Hopefully you can see. We're teed in down here. So my black probe is connected to the ground wire and my green probe is connected to the positive feed and if we go to the scope we can see we have got battery voltage there so we know our powers and grounds are good so let's go to our PCM feed we have got a constant 5 volts we know that should be a pulsed signal so we've got a constant 5 volts there so we know that's a problem Let's go to another good cylinder and see what a good one looks like. Where am I? As you can see here, we got a pulse signal. I'm not on that connector very well, but if I wiggle it, you can see we've got a pulse signal there, and that's what we should be getting. Let's go back to the original one that is misfiring. And as you can see, constant fire bolts. We have got a PCM power feed problem, a trigger feed problem. So let's get the PCM wiring diagram out and see what we can find. And check what's happening at the PCM end. 
So I was interested to see what would happen if I disconnected the plug and still kept that probe on it. But as you can see, nothing's changed. It's still five volts. I have found down in this PCM down here, sorry, the light is horrible over here. I have found the correct wire for that feed, which is this one right here. As you can see, same signal right there. So this has definitely got a ignition coil driver problem in the PCM and we'll give the customer the option, see what they want to do and we will decide whether we get this repaired or not. If we don't, then thank you very much for watching and if we do, then this video will continue. Alright guys, just then you know that the customer ended up buying a second hand computer and obviously I couldn't do the reprogramming so the customer took it back to Suzuki and they programmed it in and all working completely fixed. The customer was going to drop off the old computer for me to open up and see if I could have a look at it but um, obviously being the holiday break didn't get a chance to so unfortunately that's not at the end of this video but the reason why we're looking at this screen is because I'm doing a giveaway. So I'll be giving away the Ditex in-cylinder pressure transducer, the PDS500A. It is a basic kit and you just get the transducer, you get a cable adapter and a Foster 2 fitting. So you get no actual adapters. You'll have to either make your own or if you've got a WPS500, you can use the original transducer hoses off that with the Foster 2 fitting. Um, if you don't know much about it, you can copy this link and, and have a quick look at the in-cylinder transducer and, and what they can offer for diagnostic purposes. But it has quite a few great features here, as you can see. And um, what I will be doing is my next video after this, excuse that. Um, my next video after this will be a video on a diagnostic using this tool. And at the end of that, uh, what I will do is anyone that wants to enter the competition for the giveaway will have to subscribe to my channel and then comment under the video, the next video, um, saying that they have subscribed. And then the following video after that point, I will announce the winner. Um, what I'll do is I'll use the YouTube comment picker as the actual drawing like I've seen uh, Mario use before from Super Mario. Uh, so I'll test that out. We'll, we'll see how we go with this competition, but um, this is definitely up for grabs. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. When the next video comes along, make sure you comment in that video saying that you have subscribed, and then I will do a drawing of the winner. Um, hopefully that'll all happen in the next couple of weeks, but uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.